The Battle of Ape Canyon. Hello guys, I'm your host Luke, and today I'm going to be covering the Battle of Ape Canyon. So allegedly it all started in 1924 when Fred Beck and a group of four men were prospecting gold in Ape Canyon, Mount St. Helens, Washington, in the Lewis River area. And they began to notice evidence of visitors around their cabin. Some very large human-like footprints were discovered, and they had been hearing noises at night around the area. They claimed to have heard the thumping noises that sound like chest thumping, and one said they even heard a strange high-pitched whistling sound on one ridge above them, only to hear another whistle on the opposite ridge. When Beck and another of the men went down to a nearby spring for water, they caught sight of a large ape-like creature staring at them from behind a large pine tree. It was said to be a very dark brown in color, and they estimated it to be about seven feet tall. It ducked behind the tree and then poked its head out to watch them again. One of the men raised his rifle and took a shot at the creature and believed that he had grazed his head. It ran away then and ducked out of sight, and Beck claimed to have seen another one as it stood along a canyon wall. He said he shot it in the back and watched it fall into the gorge. The men may have thought that the incident was over, but nonetheless, they planned to leave the area the next morning just in case. So they hunkered down that night with their rifles in hand, and as darkness fell, and the men were tucked away inside their cabin, all was quiet, but they were later awakened by an enormous thud against the cabin wall and some chinking from between the logs that fell into one of the men's laps. They all grabbed their rifles and a loud rustling sound was heard outside the trampling of large heavy feet with one of the men peering outside from between the logs. He caught sight of what he believed to be three creatures, but from the sounds that they did hear, they believed that there were many more. The creatures were pounding on the walls and doors of the cabin and throwing rocks onto the roof in an attempt to break it open. Also, one of the creatures stuck its arm through the hole where the chinking had fallen and attempted to grab an axe inside without success. So luckily for... This group, they had built the cabin surly for winter and it had no windows, so thusly the creatures were unable to break in. The attack continued long throughout the night, only with short intervals of quiet, and the men claimed that they shot at them only when they were being attacked, and they stopped shooting when it got quiet, hoping that the creatures would soon learn the shooting would stop when the attack stopped. After five hours, the creatures finally gave up in the early morning hours, and at daylight the men finally went outside to find a strip of wood torn from between the two logs of the cabin and numerous large footprints all around. They left the area quickly, leaving much of their equipment behind. Later, the men agreed not to tell the story to anyone, but one of the men leaked the story and the press got wind of it. Then others began hunting around the area for the apes. It was called the Great Ape Hunt of 1924, and Beck continually swore to the validity of this story, and the canyon was named Ape Canyon after this incident took place. So, this is before the, I guess the term Bigfoot had even been coined, so that's worth noting, and yeah, this sounds really fake. But, um, this has been your host, Luke. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, like this video if you liked it. And tell me your thoughts down below. Have a great day.